This video is called I Can't Get a Good View of the Inside of My Model, and it's for Chapter 16 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. This video deals with the necessity to work on the insides of things. So what I've got here is a model of a house full of a bunch of furniture, and I want to work at this dining room table. I want to put some chairs around it, maybe. But every time I try and go inside the model here, I just I can't see enough, so I can sort of get my view. Oops, there I'm in the wall. I can kind of back up over. Oops, there I'm in the wall again. Now I'm just completely lost. Working on the insides of things is a big pain because uh, you're, you're constantly sort of fighting with the navigation tools, orbit, pan, and zoom. What I'm going to do to get myself unlost here is hit this zoom extents button up here on the top toolbar. Zoom extents looks like a little magnifying glass with red arrows around it. When I hit that, it zooms the whole model so it fills my screen. That's a good hint right there because inevitably trying to work inside things means that you're going to get lost, so you're going to need zoom extents. The thing I'd like you to try is to try sections. So this is the first technique of two that I'm going to talk about in this video for working on the insides of things. Go to the tool menu, tools I guess it's called, and choose section plane. And when you do that, you get the section plane tool, and it's this kind of green rectangle thing that you can lay anywhere. What I want to do is cut away the top part of this building temporarily, so I can just look down and then work with some chairs around this table or something. So I'm just going to click, I want to cut a section um, parallel to the ground, so I'm just going to click on the ground, which cut away most of the building. You can see I just have the bottom edges of the building visible, along with this orange rectangle that represents the section plane object that's cutting. I'm going to use the Move tool to just move that section plane up. And as I move it up, you'll see I'm, I'm sort of cutting through the building like that. But I'm just going to kind of drop it here so that I can see that, that I, I can see the house that I want to work on. I'm going to get the Select tool and just click over here so nothing's selected. Now this section plane object is kind of bugging me right now because it's visible and it's making whatever's behind it gray, which is kind of annoying to me. So I'm going to go up to the View menu and choose Section Planes and just deselect it. Now, the section plane is still active. If you look in the view menu, section cut is still active. If I deselect it, you'll see that the section cut is no longer active. Let's select that again. But section planes, that orange rectangle thing, is actually hidden right now. So all I can see is the inside of my model, and it's pretty simple. Now that I've got the table visible, I can, I can get some stuff for it. So let's get the components menu, and um, I don't think there are any chairs in here, but there's a table and chairs, so what I could do is... Uh, I don't know, open up this little group of stuff and maybe move this little chair over to where I want it, around the table. There we go. Okay. So now what I have is a, a little chair sitting around the table. You notice the top of the chair is cut off because that section plane is actually cutting everything above that height off. I hope that's pretty clear. But basically that's how you use a section plane to cut away the part of the model that you don't want to see so you can get at the stuff that you do want to see. Let's get rid of the components dialog box. I'm going to turn off my section cut, just like I did before. So we're no longer cutting away the part of the model that we didn't want to see. Um, let's work on another way of getting inside there. And this is going to talk about, actually, this is going to deal with changing what's called your field of view. Um, I'm going to go inside my model here and just kind of be standing, I don't know, I'm going to be standing over here or something. Let's get my... Uh, let's see, go to camera, and then look around. I'm going to look around over here, and just look at my living room there, and there's my couch. And you'll see that the couch is kind of filling everything. I can't see very much. It's kind of like I'm wearing blinders or something. What I want to be able to do is see even more. And to be able to see more, I've got to change my field of view. So uh, details for all of this are included in Chapter 10, along with details on using section cuts but I'll, I'll really quickly go over it here. What you're going to do is go to Camera, and then choose Field of View. Field of View is how much you can see. And if you look down here at the bottom of the screen, right there, I'm going to zoom in on the screen a little bit for you, it's going to say 30 degrees. 30 degrees is the angle of the cone that you can actually see right now. Um, and there's drawings of this in Chapter 10 for you to look at. The key to being able to see more is to have a wider field of view. So instead of having a 30 degree field of view, I'm going to type in 45 and hit enter. Now all of a sudden, I can see more. I can see more in my model. Oops, I'm still in the field of view tool, which is why things are kind of wonky here. But 
let's get it back to 45. What I'm going to do now is change that to maybe 60 degrees. There we go. And now that it's 60 degrees and I'm in, let's say, this tool, you'll see that when I'm standing there, I can actually see a whole lot more. Okay, let's hope that actually makes sense. Let's go back to my look around tool. And now when I look around and my field of view is 60 degrees, I can see a whole lot more. There's another way to change your field of view too, and it's it might actually be a little simpler. Um, hit the zoom tool right here on the menu bar, or I'm sorry, on the toolbar. When you're in zoom, the default uh, thing that you can set in the value control box down here in the lower right of the screen is actually the uh, field of view angle in degrees, and, and right now we're at 60. Let's change that back down to 30 and see what we used to be able to see. See, that's a 30 degree field of view. That's a 60 degree field of view. So you can see that having a much wider field of view actually lets you see a whole lot more when you're inside things. So if we kind of turn around and look at that chair that I positioned next to the table, it's even better. Now, if I actually change my field of view to something wider than 60 degrees, let's go 90 degrees, look how weird everything looks. Everything's really distorted and um, just strange, right? This is like uh, the movie effect that people have when they've been drugged or, or poisoned or something. Everything starts spinning. So the key is if you set your field of view too wide, things are end up looking really strange. So I recommend a field of view of about 35 to 45 degrees for exteriors and no more than about 70, 75 degrees for interiors. Okay, I hope that helps. All right, uh, that concludes the video on uh, getting a better view of the inside of your model for Chapter 16 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.